Please finish your John Fogarty and Alex Curry. We'll start with uh, John and Alex. Give us uh, just a quick opener about the day, and then we'll uh, go right down the line. We'll move to uh, questions afterward. John? Yeah, you know, um, we're pleased to be on the podium again. Uh, it was a, it was an interesting race with the different strategies, and uh, we uh, we had a car capable of winning, but just just didn't go all our way 100 percent of the time today. So, we're still proud of the guys. And Alex did an awesome job. You know, he he uh, he had some issues with the with the car. Something came apart in, in the rear suspension, and definitely had to fight. Uh, you know, the last half hour of that race, but. Just kept it clean in the opening stint. Um, you know, the, the 10 car was, was seemed to be the car to beat today, but towards the end of my stint, I kind of felt like we were gaining on them, but, you know, the, the day was so uh, interrupted with yellows that we never really could get that rhythm, get our tires where they needed to be, and uh, just, a, just, a, just a tough race and, and uh, a battle of strategies to a certain extent. But nonetheless, uh, we had a, a car capable of, of moving up through the field, and getting on the podium and happy about that. It's good to be on the podium, but uh, definitely not what we were looking for. Uh, definitely a very wild, uh, exciting race from the driver's seat. Um, you know, we, starting out on the pole, we definitely had the goal of winning. Uh, but yeah, again, like John said, uh, strategy didn't work out for us. Uh, when, when things kind of shook out, I was behind the 10 car and, and uh, you know, they pitted and we didn't. And uh, at that point, you know, we're on a different strategy, and uh, we needed for <laughs> we needed for it not to go yellow, and uh, we were pitting on a specific lap, and uh, about halfway around that lap, it went yellow, so it destroyed our strategy. Uh, so we fell way back when when everybody pitted. Um, I was trying to work my way back through the field. Uh, yeah, I, I had something like go in the right rear. Um, I'm not sure what it is, but something definitely broke. Uh, but the car was still still quick. I had a really good fight with uh, Barbosa, uh, which was a lot of fun at the end, uh, and with Scott a little bit. And um, anyway, podium, and uh, congrats to uh, all the winners. We'll move over to our race winning team, Enzo. Quick uh, opener, and uh, we'll start with Enzo. Yeah, it's unbelievable. I mean, uh, I can't believe I'm here, surrounded by these people, surrounded by three bad teammates. Like, you know, it's all his work. Uh, I, I was really proud of my first stint, uh, the first time in the season that I could get out of the car and I, and I feel good with my job. And I kept a really good pace and I handed the car to him, you know, hoping for the best. And it was amazing. And the, we almost didn't make it to this race. I mean, we, were, we were, the first thing I told him was, I can't believe a week ago we were sitting on a table to see if we could make it here. And, and see how, and, and look at what happened. I mean, we, we ended up having a good competitive car. Ryan doing an excellent job. And just, you know, see, looking at the race from, from the side of the wall was, oh, unbelievable. I mean, it's, I, couldn't, I couldn't breathe, couldn't swallow anything. I mean, I just couldn't drink, couldn't do anything. You know, I was just holding my breath the whole way. And it's just amazing. I mean, this teammate is just everything for us. And I mean, the team is on his shoulders. And we're really proud of having him in here. It's the first time since we won that Enzo's not cried, so that's a good sign. Um, no, I mean, uh, this is absolutely huge for, for Star Wars. I mean, I've uh, been with him through some really rough years, and uh, Peter Byron, for some crazy reason, keeps hiring me to come back and do this. Um, so uh, it's crazy. I just said to Peter before I, I sat down that, I was more emotional um, finishing this race and, and the feeling that I got from this accomplishment than I was when I won Daytona this year, so, uh, last year, sorry. So that kind of tells you how much it means to me after three years of, of four years of being with Peter and Daytona prototypes um, to eventually get this. And a lot of credit has to go to Enzo. You know, Enzo and Alex Popov, they couldn't be here. They, um, they came in this year and, and they gave us the tools that we needed to. Uh, to get the program to the next level. Um, we struggled a little bit at the start of the year, but today was one of those days I said to Enzo that sometimes things go for you and you get away with small mistakes and hitting curbs and hitting other cars. And today was our day. I mean, at, at the end, um, I was just driving my ass off to stay ahead of Scott. And in my head, I'd already decided it was going to be a victory or a wreck. Um, and that's, that's what we had to go for. We needed this as a team. Our, our last stop, I mean, we went from um, seventh, I think, to, to third in line. 
Um, so massive amounts of credit to, to our crew. They've done a phenomenal job this year. Really excited to get forward to victory. Uh, it's been a tough year for them. It's, it's not what they've been used to. Uh, so it's been a, a massive, massive day for us at this point. All right, today's second place finisher is Scott Brew. Remember, Ron Lasse repeated as the uh, Daytona Prototype Champions for Scott, his fourth championship in the series, and for Memo, his third. We'll start off with Memo for Go for Memo Scott. Uh, well, um, hi everybody, thanks for being here. Uh, it was it's a very emotional day for us as well. We were, you know, we, we were focusing on clinching the championship and trying to secure the the manufacturer's championship for BMW, which which uh, was uh, our goal as well. Uh, it was a tough race but just because, you know, even though the 30 minute rule is in place for every race and each driver needs to complete 30 minutes to get points. During the season, you really don't think about it. You just go racing and, and push as hard as you can. But for some reason, when it's championship time, it just comes to our heads. And we're just focusing on you know, doing the best we can. Um, I just wanted to give the car in, in perfect shape to Scott and uh, get 30 minutes for both. It was tough because we had to start from the back. Um, we had issues um, with, with speed. Uh, the, the last two races and we've been running the same engine so the team decided to change it and um, uh, you know really tough work by the team to change it last night and uh, really uh, take my hats off to them it's, it's been a struggle the last two races and um, they did a good job and we were just trying to go forward um, we, 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 made, we made some moves with strategy and Scott was able to, to get to a good position to fight in the, for the podium he did a great job, and uh, here we are. We didn't really think we could be in the podium this weekend because we were lacking speed, and here we are. So my hats off to my team, to Scott and Chip Ganassi Racing. Scott, well, kind of the same. I mean, we're, uh, you know, quite frankly, at, at uh, Montreal in here, we're struggling. Uh, we just can't find the speed. Couldn't get straightaway speed, and we've made a pretty drastic change for the race. We changed engines just to make sure that wasn't an issue. We took. Interestingly enough, 500 pounds of downforce out. Of, we just trimmed the car out as far as we could trim out, um, and went racing. And um, it, it all played out for us. We were. Uh, it was a good fight with with Chevy and BMW. We were really um, not sure that we could pull it off. Actually, if you would have talked to me this morning, I would have said we wouldn't have been able to pull it off for for BMW to win the manufacturers. And that was huge. It's a huge day for, for us to to win that. And and. Uh, Well, it's going to be interesting to see how that works out. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll see here in a minute. Anyway, we're tied for the manufacturers. <laughs> so that's what we tweeted. We'll, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how that plays out. But it's been it's an incredible year for us. We've uh, we've had ups and downs. We've um, you know really focused on doing what we could as a team to get the car to the front continually, and that was the same focus here. When you start last, it's always difficult. Um, I don't care, and, and a track like this is so incredibly hard to pass on. Um, we, we didn't really have a strategy. We were just playing just, you know, right off the cuff on, on, on some of the pit stops. In fact, we were making pit stops when I'm just getting ready to come down. I mean, just passing pit lane, pit, 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 pit. So, there was no strategy to that except just kind of a, a gut feel of what we should be doing. That put us in great position to, to move up the field. The car ended up being very fast to, to the infield, um, and we could make some moves. We made a lot of uh, good moves in traffic. And then coming to the end, I mean, it was, I'm, I'm happy Grand Am got out there and cleaned up the track. There was so much oil on the track, and they were looking to go green. Uh, I'm happy with the fact that they got out there and got the, the middle Ohio guys put oil dry down. Otherwise, it would have been just a horrific crash going into there. Um, and uh, all said and done, it's just been a great, great season. We'll take questions now for the podium. Just uh, a question. Hang on, uh, jump in. Scott, where does this championship rank compared to all the others? They're they're all great. I mean, without without question. And it's I think this. <laughs> quite frankly, I never thought I'd still be winning championships at this point in my career. So um, going out there every weekend, you know, I'm just you know. The good Lord just blessed me on having a, you know, just a longer career than I could ever imagine. And um, they're always, every victory is sweet. And this, this race today was, turned out a lot better than what we expected. And it just was 
you know, how hard everybody just continually worked and how hard we dug uh, deep into the team to, to go out and, and, and finish big. We didn't want to go out and just drive around. We wanted to finish in a big way. More questions? Raise your hand, jump in. Uh, John, and, and so away. you were in the other car as well. Can you talk about jumping from one car to the next? And when did you get out of that car? And how long did you have to sit in the pits to, to watch Ryan? It was incredible to look like a Chinese grill. Because I got out of one car and went around and got on the other one right away. <laughs> and it was funny, I mean, we, but I had to do another half hour on, on the two car. And one is manual five speed and the other one is paddle shift six speed. So it's, it's like I couldn't get my belts on right. It was kind of weird, you know, seats, the two seats were totally different for the drivers. But it was it was really fun. I mean, the, the Porsche car was also good this, this weekend. And I mean, I thought it was gonna be second, first and second on the podium, and first and third in the podium, you know, hanging from one leg to the other because the, the car was we were one two and then one three. I mean, it was it was really good, but really promising for that. And Mark Wilkins did an awesome job. We've been trying different drivers. We're searching for for the co-driver for Alex for next year. So we've been trying different people to, to decide somebody for next year. And Mark did an excellent, excellent job this weekend. All right. Any more questions? All right, guys, congratulations. Thanks, guys.